Every year, the Army loses soldiers to a deadly and invisible opponent, heat. Whether it's exercising during PT, negotiating a land navigation course, conducting training, or performing a mission under the hot sun, heat injuries are accidents that can be prevented by direct leader engagement. The key is for leaders to stay engaged, and that's going to help prevent soldiers from uh, dying and become severely injured. Engaged leaders incorporating the sound principles of composite risk management into their daily operations will help keep soldiers from becoming heat stress casualties and could possibly even save lives. We all know heat injuries are a major threat in both training and combat. Army operations require our soldiers to constantly train and operate in severe weather conditions and areas of high temperature. As leaders, we must remain engaged in order to provide the best protection for our soldiers. The best protection is prevention. There are several control measures leaders can use to help prevent a soldier from becoming a heat casualty, including monitoring wet bulb temperatures, paying closer attention when temperatures rise, adjusting work and rest schedules, ensuring soldiers are acclimated, conducting briefings on heat injury symptoms, using the buddy system, and the utilization of ice sheets. Monitoring soldiers' activities may help prevent heat injuries long before a dangerous situation becomes catastrophic. Another effective way to combat heat injuries is to use a soldier tracking mechanism. Several organizations across our Army have implemented this system and have been successful in preventing injuries. This life-saving tracking system is capable of tracking two different locations at the same time while providing real-time tracking of soldiers. The soldiers' movements are monitored and displayed by a system that uses GPS reports provided by the soldiers' player unit radios. The position reports are then sent to workstations that display the soldier's position on an aerial overlay of the area. This system is one of many controls a unit can use to prevent a soldier from becoming a heat casualty. It's devastating to lose a soldier to a heat injury, especially since it's an injury that can be prevented, uh, obviously through uh, prevention through the soldier himself, but also as a leader, there's steps that we can take to uh, mitigate the risk. Just having a system be able to find them, know exactly where they're at at all times is, is, is very reassuring that you can go out and, okay, hey, you know what, we need to find this guy, he hasn't, he hasn't moved in a while, uh, and you can close with on him immediately. So that's, that's pretty reassuring to have a system that can, at a minimum, tell you where these guys are at. Composite risk management should be a continuous process applied across the full spectrum of Army training and operations. Through the engagement of our leaders, we can help ensure that Army safe is Army strong. <laughs>